Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this Taltonica presentation. My name is Maggie Kruger, and I am the product manager for Taltonica here at Miro. I would like to introduce the following speakers who will be presenting today. We have Tadas, who is the operational marketing project executive for Taltonica Networks. Then we have Aruna, who is the operational marketing project manager for Taltonica Telematics. And then we have Kiri Minas, who is the chief of operational marketing for Taltonica Smart Autonomous Solutions. And with that, I would like to hand over. So thank you for joining and let this begin. Good morning to all of you. I'm very happy to be here with you all today. My name is Tadas Letinskas. I am working in operational marketing department. Firstly, I would like to say a big thank you to Miro distribution team for this invitation and this spectacular audience that is listening to me and my colleagues. Uh, so today I will be representing Teltonica Networks company and its product portfolio and use cases. But firstly, we should start from Teltonica IoT Group. Teltonica IoT Group is in the business for more than 22 years and already sold more than 10 million devices worldwide. IoT Group employs more than 1,000 employees globally. Our headquarters are in Lithuania, Europe, and we have offices in all continent, as we want to be closer to our customers all the time, to support them, to help them. As headquarters are based in Europe, so is our manufacturing facility. So all manufacturing is located in the European Union. That's why we are capable to provide the great quality as we maintain high EU standards. Therefore, our failure rate is only 0.1%. Four fully automatic SMT assembly lines are capable to produce up to 10 million devices annually. So, Teltonica IoT Group consists of five main companies. Today, we will cover three of them. As I have mentioned, I will represent Teltonica Networks company. Then, Vehicle Telematics will be presented by my colleague Arunas Kuginis. Gediminas Michalinis will showcase smart autonomous solutions. Teltonica Telematic Company has already developed ventilators that will be very soon launched to mass production, and they are concentrating on telematic solutions. At Teltonica EMS, you are able to develop your own devices with flexible electronics manufacturing services and original design. And now let's talk about Teltonica Networks Company. Last year, we have achieved a superb milestone of growing 50% comparing to 2018. This year, despite COVID pandemic, we are trying to grow even faster and reach 67% of growth rate. As eight months have already passed of 2020, we are very close to achieving this rate as more and more remote control and monitoring solutions are needed globally. And now let's move to product portfolio overview. We have five different categories, including more than 21 different products. But before starting to speak about the hardware and the comparison of those products, I should highlight that the hardware can be made by any company, but not the hardware makes the product so good. Software or the brain does it. So almost all of our products have the same operating system called Root OS. This is a software that was made and developed through more than 10 years of experience by more than 50 R&D engineers. With this baggage of developments, we managed to create an operating system which is based on Linux with the help of OpenWRT, which is very user-friendly, so almost anyone can use it and understand it, no matter that there are many different features that we have included, such as multiple VPNs, firewalls, tunnels, and more. Furthermore, our operating system is very friendly and interactive, so you can easily connect it to other platforms and devices. Also, as we have seen that we can make such a great operating system, we put this experience into making one of the best cloud-based software systems called Remote Management System. RMS follows the same philosophy of having its core values, security, reliability, and easy to use. To RMS, we have put a lot of efforts to making it highly secured with free level security authentication. With the newest service of RMS Connect, you are conveniently able to access to all infrastructure remotely, even without public IP. Also, since we are trying to make this platform easy to use for our partners, our customers, you can have a possibility to update all your fleet of Teltonica routers in a single window. 
including firmware updates, multiple configuration. So from now on, you will not, not need employ engineers just to change the configuration to your thousands of routers. And please keep in mind that all our routers and gateways come with free, 30 days free trial of RMS. So you can test it, play with it, and check it how it's useful in your solution, in your situation. All right, so now let's go quickly through our product portfolio and let's begin with uh, modems, TRM series. Here you can see two devices which looks the same. They have a very similar name and only one difference. The difference is that the connectivity type they are using. TRM240 has LTE CAT1, while TRM250 has LTE CAT M1, narrowband and 2G. So you can take this device, start using right now on 2G and switch to M1 or narrowband in the future without changing the device itself. Also, these products were created as a cost-aggressive solution if you need a secure, reliable internet source to a single computer or machinery. When you need a device which could act as a gateway between your factory machinery or industrial PLC, you should take a look at our Tier B1 series gateways, especially designed products with different serial interfaces and one SIM card to offer the best solution for your needs. It is an LTE device. So this series includes four products, uh, one with Ethernet, another with RS-232, then we have with RS-4A5 and multiple inputs and outputs. Uh, when one connection is just not enough, we have developed another series, TRB2, which includes also two products, uh, with the difference the same as the modems have, only connectivity type. However, these two products are orientated into industrial applications where more than one serial port is needed, since it has RS-232, RS-485 inputs and outputs, and even one Ethernet port. With all this, these gateways are equipped with dual SIM for even better backup connectivity. So now let's head to uh, Route 2 series. Our best seller, Route 240, plays a significant role since we sold more than 30% of our company sales comes only from this particular product. Route 240 is equipped with two Ethernet ports, one SIM card, also it supports BNG Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi is enriched with multiple features such as it can act as access point mode and station mode at the same time. Very small, reliable, secure 4G LTE router is more than enough in various solutions. And 240 and 230 is a 3G router with the same functionalities as 240. Another series of the routers, Route 9 series, cellular industrial routers with two SIM cards and four Ethernet ports. Route 950 and Route 955, both 4G LTE CAT4, and Route 900 is 3G. The main difference is that Route 955 is more orientated into industrial applications because it has serial ports included with micro SD and USB interfaces. Furthermore, it has GPS and it's very popular with our public bus integrators who are offering solutions such as passenger counting, digital advertising, public bus Wi-Fi, payment terminals options. Since these products are the oldest ones, we have created a new generation of this series and it's called Root X series. Root X11 is a great all-rounder LTE CAT6 router with dual SIM, dual band Wi-Fi. In addition, it features GPS and Bluetooth for even more implementation flexibility. Perfect for applications where a single device must be used as a fast primary or backup internet source, and Wi-Fi for internet sharing is needed. And the only difference between Root X11 and Root X09 is that Root X09 doesn't have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Newest enterprise seller router, our flagship router, I should say, the Root X12. This device is designed for solutions where throughput and interruptible connectivity is a must. The most advanced device from X series, it has two independent 4G LTE CAT6 mobile modems. So they're able to work simultaneously together with two SIM cards from different operators. This router, can reach the throughput of up to 600 megabits per second with load balancing functionality. And of course, in addition, it features dual band Wi-Fi, GPS, 
Bluetooth for even more implementation flexibility. So keep in mind, it is our only one router with dual modem functionality, when two SIM cards can work simultaneously to provide the best speeds for your solution. So this makes the device irreplaceable in applications where losing connection is not an option. Root X08 is our first uh, only Ethernet-based router. It is a robust device with 4 gigabit Ethernet ports and USB. It is equipped with advanced security features, multiple VPN services, firewall, and industrial networking and remote management protocols. It also supports RMS. X08 is a great tool to support wired network infrastructure. Root X10 is a router without cellular connectivity, but with gigabit Ethernet, Bluetooth, and dual band Wi-Fi. This device is perfect for VPN-enabled encrypted connectivity and sharing wired internet over double Wi-Fi channels. And the last from Network's product portfolio, TSW100, our first unmanaged PoE switch. It includes AF and AT PoE, meaning that you can easily connect and power up to four CCTV cameras at a time. It has 120 watts total power budget, while most of the competitors are offering from 16 to 60 watts. And it also has industrial casing as our Root X series routers. So now let's speak a bit uh, what you will be able to see in the near future from Teltonica Networks company. Uh, so Root X R1, it's our first rack mountable enterprise series router with SFP port, and it will even have two SIM cards if there will be a need for backup. It will be ready for mass production this year. As Route 240 is our the best seller, but for some of our partners, there is a need for better coverage and better speeds. Therefore, we have upgraded Route 240 with CAT6 module, and that's how Route 360 was born. First devices will be available at the end of this year. And for detailed specifications of the devices seen in the whole presentation, please contact Mirror Distribution. And one more, our first consumer router, TSR100, with which we will enter even bigger markets. This device will be available at the beginning of the next year. So now let's get to the most, I should say, interesting part of this webinar, of my presentation, our business cases. The solutions where we have applied our products to meet the higher standards. We internally know more than 350 use cases and we know that there are plenty more as our devices are quality, secure, and easy to use. And from that big list, I will showcase a couple of them. Please check uh, our Teltonica Networks website for the newest topologies for the newest business cases or contact Miro Distribution for more information. First responders are part of any community. Police cars get more and more technologies implemented to be more efficient, to be more secure, to have traceability to all the events that has happened. The key point is to have a redundancy across two different operators. When primary operator is down, then the router switches to the secondary one. Here in this topology, you can see that uh, route 950 was used. 4G LTE CAT4 router. And once connection is back on the primary, it will go back. So meaning that all the devices included, uh, license plates cameras, front and inside cameras, laptops, and other devices that are connected via secure and fast VPN channels to the police headquarters and databases, stay connected and are connected all the time. And of course, highly secure device was a must and is a must in such type of the solutions. Transportation case study is very popular in all regions, Europe, Asia, North or South America or Africa, it doesn't matter. Nowadays, robust connectivity is a must in public transportation. You know that you will not have a cable inside the bus since it's moving object, but you can have a cellular router which will give Wi-Fi to the passengers. One of the best things is that uh, our routers has a hotspots functionality with a default landing page and captive portal. So we'll not need to program anything additionally, you will just need to plug it and that's it. Furthermore, Route 955 has different interfaces, such as four Ethernet ports, RS-232, 485, inputs and outputs. So in this scenario, to one single router, you are able to connect cameras, digital screens, ticket terminal, 
and even a payment system or a panic button. So one single Teltonica Networks router empowers full solution for public transportation companies. Rutex 11 cellular router is responsible for stable and robust internet connectivity developed through 4G LTE CAT6. At the same time, all CCTV cameras are connected to the PoE compatible switch TSW100. This device is equipped with five gigabit Ethernet ports, four of which supports AF and AT PoE standards. Because of this, TSW100 can power up the devices up to 30 watts power per port. Router and switch can withstand harsh weather conditions with wide operating temperature ranges from minus 40 to 75 degrees Celsius and have numerous mounting options for faster and easier installations. These solutions can be deployed very fast and can be operational within a few hours. The Router X11 is compatible with Teltonica Remote Management System, which allows remote setup, configuration, and management of the whole solution remotely. One of the areas where we see the biggest growth and demand globally apart from working from home is remote education. Creating a secure and encrypted link to schools, homes of the teachers and student households are the priority because otherwise internal education systems could get compromised. For this particular case, Route 240 was chosen because it offers the best value when it comes to easy setup, reliable cellular connectivity and features. This professional cellular router is the best seller from our portfolio because it features 4G LTE with robust Wi-Fi and even two physical Ethernet interfaces. With Route 240, students can connect laptops, tablets, PCs. <clears throat> Sorry. Furthermore, Route 240 supports Teltonica's RMS, which allows configuration and infinite amount of devices before shipping them to students' households, leaving them with as few simple steps to set up, such as powering up the device or attaching the antennas. Furthermore, with RMS, the system operator can track data usage, generate customizable reports, and troubleshoot any problems even without public IP. Besides that, uh, Route 240 comes with advanced connect filtering features, which are essential to make sure students can access what is needed for their education and preventing access to unwanted websites. So you have seen our company highlights, product portfolio, including our roadmap and use cases. Now let's shortly speak about market trends and our historical moments. In this graph, you can see that our growth of Teltonica Networks was comparing to the market growth of networking products. Every year since 2016, we are growing even faster than the market itself. As all experts are predicting at least uh, this year, uh, less growth for this year, for global situation, global pandemic, for cellular routers markets, we are achieving remarkable growth. As eight months has already are in the books, we see that our growth rate is more than 60%. Because due to the pandemic situation, there have been more than ever the need of the remote monitoring and control. All this data shows how our partners from all around the world successfully implementing our devices in various solutions. So at Teltonica Netos, we are top five in the world of cellular router manufacturing companies, according to Berg Insight. And we are offering a high-end product for a mid-end price. So do not hesitate to contact Miro Distribution for any more information about Teltonica Networks. And now let's check uh, what questions you have. Maggie, could you highlight a few of them? Yes, thank you so much, Taras. That was a fantastic Teltonica Networks presentation. Um, and if anyone's got any questions, as Taras has said, please do not hesitate to email me. Uh, my email is in the chat box. Um, so a couple of the questions we got was, um, can I reach interface of another device which is connected to your router? So if we have a, a Teltonica Networks router and there's another router, can we see what's going on there? Uh, yes, it's a very common question in the, let's say, in the globally. So, yes, it's a very good uh, example that, uh, let's say, you have a full solution and you uh, connect uh, a Teltonica router 
uh, use a remote management system and then you can easily with the newest uh, RMS connect uh, service you can access uh, any it's, it doesn't matter if it's a laptop PC or PLC you can uh, access a desktop or web UI or uh, other interfaces so it's a new uh, let's say service so I encourage you to test our devices get contact with Miro uh, and see together with our remote management system and together with our router so uh, the short answer is yes <laughs> perfect thank you um, just another one I've got a question here um, are you planning to enter the Soho market uh, yes uh, as I have shown uh, of our route map uh, so we are planning to produce uh, a custom consumer based router uh, with of course less um, um, smaller pricing and yes we are planning to enter this market very shortly the beginning of next year and maybe you have one more okay. to highlight Maggie. Yeah, just, just one more um, can these routers be installed outside uh, well uh, yes uh, and no and at the same time uh, it can't those routers can be installed uh, outside with the direct rain or humidity it has to be put it into a small box or a box inside where is you know ip67 of course where no humidity is allowed inside the box so as i showed in the business case with cctv cameras so all our partners are installing our routers inside the boxes the routers and switches so and of course they are using somewhere you know in the uh, sweden somewhere north where it's minus 40 degrees celsius and here in, in your country in South Africa with plus 70 degrees outside so our routers can withstand those harsh in environments and of course in the near future we now already have uh, you know designs and everything is set up that next year uh, a outdoor router will be released so next year we will have those great news that you can install the, our router you know outside even not putting into the box Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, Taras. That was from Teltonica Networks. Um, next up, we have uh, Arunas with Teltonica Telematics, if you'd like to take over. Thank you, Maggie. In a few moments, I'm going to start my presentation. Uh, maybe Tadas. Oh, okay, thanks. So, hello everybody. Hi there. Wait a second, I'm gonna switch. Now it's good. Yes, perfect. So, so uh, there was a few issues. So, hello everybody. I'm Arunas Kuginis from Teltonica Telematics, Operational Marketing Department. It's great to join today's event. And uh, today my presentation topic is about driver behavior and fuel monitoring. With the monitoring of driver behavior, fleet owners can achieve a better performance for the business. And nowadays, it's a must to work efficiently because of a big competition in the market. Like you understood, Teltonica Telematics has a solution and we want to share it with you. This presentation will last approximately 20 minutes. And today we'll present shortly about bad driver behavior, why drivers behave 
um, uh, white driver's behavior on the road uh, is aggressive and what the consequences are. We will find out uh, driver monitoring solution and what benefits are of monitoring them. And we'll talk about fuel consumption solution uh, for fleet owners. After the presentation, I will answer your questions. And for the question section, we're going to have about uh, two minutes. Uh, if you will have uh, additional questions, so of course you can email uh, to me directly and my email will appear in the end of the presentation. So let's talk about uh, the bad driver behavior. Most of the drivers openly admit that they more or less regularly behave inappropriate on the road. When drivers are in a hurry, somewhere trying to be on time, they naturally move faster, accelerate, and drive on high RPM, and do not always think about the possible consequences. Of course, they hash braking and hash cornering as well. This situation are rushing people of making accidents. Another group of drivers love to drive fast. I think you noticed that some drivers do not keep a safe distance to other vehicles and try to overtake in any way. I have one story of mine. Uh, I have a friend who is very calm, never shouts or do rational things, always thinks before doing something. I would say he's, he's very cautious. But when he drives a vehicle, he's become another person. He's driving fast, most of the time over speeding. And when he reaches an obstacle, I mean a slower vehicle, he's trying to overtake no matter what. And of course, there was a result. He got into a small accident of over speeding and of course of aggressive driving. The next group of drivers are careless. Besides fast driving, accidents can be caused by careless driving habits. This action include poor observation, failure to obey traffic and safety laws, and basic driving driver inattention to changing road conditions. And of course, when they're stopping for a longer period, they leave the engine on. We observe the reasons, so let's take a look what consequences are. Aggressive acceleration, harsh braking, harsh cornering, and overspeeding pose a threat not only to the driver himself, but also to other road users. This situation are pushing, uh, pushing drivers uh, for more accidents. One of the major concerns to fleet owners is growing fuel consumption of bad driver behavior. Driving style is one of the factors directly influencing fuel consumption. Also, inappropriate driver behavior gives a result of vehicle life and growing operational costs that otherwise can be avoided. If it's managed well, the safe cost can be used to strengthen company and its competitive advantages. Driving style is one of the factors directly influencing fuel consumption and vehicle life. And Deltonica has, got, uh, ha has a solution for bad driver behavior. We have green driving functionality that collects data on acceleration, braking, hour speeding, harsh cornering, and no load engine operation. This information is instantly analyzed. If the received values are beyond the set parameters, the device sends a command to the LED or buzzer installed in the driver's cab and alerts if he's driving inefficiently. The same information is also sent to the uh, server for further analytics if required. To motivate drivers even more, there is a possibility to evaluate their driving scores and according, accordingly allocate salaries or bonuses. The green driving solution is a very good example of how modern technology can help not only develop the business, but also increase road safety and reduce a negative impact on our planet. To experience the advantages of green driving solution, we recommend our Deltonica Tracker FMB920. 
And I want to present uh, our Teltonic uh, FMB 920. It's a true bestseller, compact, reliable, accurate, and affordable. The quality is appreciated by Teltonica clients throughout all the world. Reaching 1 million single model device deployed makes us both proud and inspired to continue offering telematic solutions. It's a reasonable priced FMB device considering huge functional potential. Device shares the FMB platform with advanced and professional devices. That means that a lot of new functions will be similar to other more advanced devices and the platform is continuously being developed. So the device will not be forgotten. And it has professional tools like PhotoWeb, the remote firmware and configuration update. For example, when new functions are released and you want to update firmware, or you just want to change configuration, you can do it remotely via Photo Web for all your fleet, only by a few clicks, and it's free of charge. Easy installation, which is important for efficient business. Device has auto calibration function that helps to install device more easily. You can reduce operational costs by saving tires and preserving suspension thanks to better driving quality. By reducing aggressive driving, you will keep your fleet in a good condition for a longer vehicle life, and you can save on fuel consumption, achieving by minimizing hash accelerations. Also, with smooth acceleration and maneuvering, reduce engine load and a result of fuel consumption and gas emissions. There is a possibility to use FMD 920 not only like track and trace solution, but also you can expand functionality with BLAS sensors, such as FLS or wireless temperature sensors for cold chain solutions, magnetic sensors that could show door position, and the beacons that allow to recognize driver ID. It is very important to understand that additional value integrator will be able to offer to the end user. For this reason, not only hardware specification of products are important, but also firmware future features, related tools, and application. And let's talk more about fuel consumption. Fuel is the single largest operating expense for truck or heavy construction machinery. Reading a vehicle's fuel level or consumption gives accurate information on a daily basis and for safety measures. Depending on your business, the fuel cost could have a significant impact on your profitability. When you run a fleet for vehicles for or for delivery or logistics, you will feel the direct cost straight away. Like I talked before, fuel consumption directly affected by aggressive or inappropriate driving and by monitoring it, we can improve driving behavior. It plays an important and significant role in reducing costs. Also, one of the worst consumption statistics for any vehicle is zero kilometers per liter. Like example, vehicle standing in one position with running engine and fuel is consumed. But for efficient business, we need accurate data, real odometer and fuel level. In that case, we'll get real data fuel consumption, which would help to evaluate efficiency. And there are solutions which can help to get exact data of fuel consumption and fuel level. First, I want to mention fuel sensors. They're designed to make accurate measurements of fuel level in vehicle tanks. According to these measurements from GPS tracking and telematics platform feature, you can get the following data, like example, fuel level, fuel cons consumption, per, per time period, average fuel consumption, fuel refill, refills, or drains. The sensor measures the height of the fuel column in the tank and the fuel sensor itself. 
due to the time spent to charge uh, the capacitor. These parameters are sent to a GPS tracker, and then all the data, including your location, are transmitted to the GPS tracking platform. And the next solution is accessing to CAN bus data, which enables fleet operators to report on a wide range of information. You can effectively identify areas of improvement within their vehicle operation to drive down overheads and minimize environmental impact. For fleet owners, real distance, fuel consumption gives a, re a review of performance and the real fuel level helps to avoid theft. And for those mentioned solutions, for fuel sensors and for CAN data reading, you can use different Teltonica trackers. And I want to present some of them. First, I want to present FMB 125. It is a small and professional tracker with internal high gain GSM and GNSS antennas with Bluetooth connectivity, which is enabled to collect device coordinates and other useful data and transfers them via GSM network to the server. RS-232 and RS-485 serial communication interfaces allows us to connect different fuel sensors. One wire interface to monitor temperature data and RFID or I-button tags. And we have dual SIM, which allows us a backup communication channel where the coverage of a singular operator is not sufficient. The dual SIM feature significantly reduces roaming costs. And the next is our FMB 140. It's an advanced GS, GSM and Genesis Bluetooth tracker with an, an integrated CON data processor. It is a compact two-in-one solution, GPS tracker and CAN data adapter inside. The device allows us to read CAN data from a wide range of various vehicles, including light and electric vehicles, truck, buses, and special machinery. Depending on the exact software version, FMB 140 can be used in advanced applications as heavy logistics, delivery services, utility transport. So there, there are two options available to fulfill any business demands. FMB 140 has LVCAN 200 option. It is a default software version with LVCAN 200 parameters, including fuel level, fuel consumption, odometer, con speed, pedal position, and supports light vehicles and trucks. It is possible to upgrade to all CAN 300 option. Advanced software version which allows us to read more parameters than the default version. And available parameters like uh, add blue level, engine lifetime, airbag, weight sensors, and others. And support uh, as well, like uh, light vehicles, truck buses, also agriculture, construction, and all other machinery types. FMB 140 ensures CAN bus data reading from uh, my mention transport. The internal CAN reader provides essential parameters. Once again, I want to remind fuel consumption, fuel level, mileage, RPM, and more. And supported vehicle list is more than 3,000 vehicles. And you can find it on our Teltonica webpage, on our Wiki page. To summarize, my topic, I want to remind, for monitoring driver behavior, the best solution is to use our small and smart tracker FMB 920. From this device, you can get events of acceleration, harsh braking, harsh cornering, and overspeeding, and of course, evaluate them. With these features, you will keep your fleet in a good condition by reducing aggressive and inappropriate driving.
With a better driving behavior, you can save up to 20% of fuel consumption. And what do you think? Is it worth it to try? I hope so, yes. With fuel sensors, you can use FMV125 connected via RS232 or RS485. And remember, it has one wire interface to monitor temperature data and RFID or a button tags. And I would say the most advanced tracker is FMV140 with current data reading possibilities. It's much more easy to install comparing to fuel sensors. And you can easily get the basic parameters like reloadometer, fuel consumption, or fuel level. And what makes him special, it has possibility to be upgraded to all CAN 300, which can read more than 100 parameters. So thank you very much for listening to uh, my presentation. And if you have any question, I think uh, maybe you got some. Uh, maybe you can announce them. Yes, thank you so much, Arunas. I really appreciate your presentation. It was very informative. I do have some questions. Um, so I just wanted to ask there on um, the FMV 125. How many fuel sensors um, can be connected to that? Uh, yes, uh, with uh, FMB 125, uh, um, if you want to connect your sensor via RS-232, you can connect only one. But if you would like to connect uh, fuel sensors via RS-485, it's possible to connect uh, up to five fuel sensors. Fantastic. Um, and then just on the FMB 125 um, stall, how many temperature sensors can be connected? Also five. Uh, yes, um, you can uh, actually connect uh, uh, four, uh, four temperature sensors via one wire. And of course you can connect uh, additionally or temperature sensors uh, via Bluetooth. So actually, if you need to connect a lot of sensors so you can combine it, and you connect in totally eight uh, temperature sensors at the same time, I mean. That's brilliant, thank you. And um, on, the last pre on the last slide that you were talking about, the FMB um, 140, so yes. there's a um, version that it comes with, the LV CAN 200, and then you say that it can be upgraded to the all CAN 300. How do you how do you upgrade? Actually, if uh, the the company has uh, the need uh, to get additional parameters, of course they need to, to upgrade to all CAN 300. So it's uh, very simple. Uh, after the payment is received to, to Teltonica. So we can send the update uh, file uh, via Fora web, and the new version of software will be upgraded to all CAN 300. So it's easy like that. Perfect. And then just the last question now. Um, yes. So you were speaking about the, uh, the driver authorization. I think it was with the Beacon ID. Can you just um, tell us more about that, please? About the Beacon ID, yes, exactly. Uh, before uh, we used the authorization uh, via one wire with the uh, I button, and uh, only with advanced devices, and of course installation uh, before it took a uh, really long time. Uh, and now we can uh, authorize uh, uh, with dedicated and assigned ID beacon. Teltonica so Smart Solutions, um, allows to use Bluetooth uh, with ID beacons, which does not require any readers at all. Even an easy tracker like FMB 920 can authorize your driver and uh, protect your vehicle. Perfect, thank you. Okay, um, just for the sake of time, the other questions that were asked, I will be addressing in my follow-up mail to everyone who has attended this presentation. Thank you very much. I do appreciate your presentation. Um, and 
the Thank you very last much. presentation. Thank you. The last presentation will be presented by Hiri Manas, the Chief of Operations Operational Marketing for Teltonica Smart Autonomous Solutions Department. Hello. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Do you hear me right, Maggie? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Perfect. I will just share my screen. Start sharing. Hope uh, everything is visible and we can start right away, right? Yes, perfect. We can see. Thank you. Perfect. So, uh, my name is Gediminas and uh, I am a Chief of Operational Marketing from SaaS Department, Smart Autonomous Solutions. And uh, uh, I'd like to say a big thanks for uh, this invitation to uh, Apicon and uh, looking forward to successful leads and successful uh, cooperation together with you and uh, uh, for their future customers. So, uh, just a short introduction to Smart Autonomous Solutions. So, at our company, we are developing micro mobility, asset trackers, and personal trackers. So, micro mobility basically covers all uh, vehicles that is electric. So, kiki scooters, e bikes, e forklifts, and e mopeds. So, all of those you can easily control and uh, with our unit's help, make track of them. Basically, it's uh, for uh, city sharing and uh, sharing applications. Another section is asset trackers. So all the units that has internal ba ba battery pack without external power source and with the battery life up to one, two, three years and up, right? And as well, we have personal trackers, which includes uh, uh, units for elder care, for uh, people, for security guards, uh, as well as it has the panic button. So talking of that, I will start right away with Mini Tracker Easy, which is uh, our one of the best sellers, personal tracker, and one of its main features that it has the panic button included for emergency situations, as well as uh, it has uh, a enhanced uh, um, ingress protection, IP67, so that means water and dust resistant as well as it has the Bluetooth connectivity. It comes as well with uh, uh, additional accessories such as you can wear it on uh, uh, the, the hand, you can wear it on the belt, right? And as well as you can uh, add this uh, tracker with additional uh, accessory and use it as a uh, offender tracker for additional security for government, right? So you can easily track people at home for that purposes if uh, there's the offender who needs to stay at home and has to have the geofencing zone around. So that's the uh, main purpose of that. So this is how it looks. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has uh, as well additional no movement, as well attack alarm notifications. So for example, if you have this uh, panic button pressed, you can easily call for uh, authorities to come for your help. It can easily be linked to the uh, predefined numbers. So it could start calling already and have this uh, attack notifications, right? As well as fall down detection with the integrated accelerometer. Going further, so one of the use cases what we have here, it could usually be used by the security guards, which can, for example, can be checking the warehouses and have these checkpoints all around. So making sure that all these checkpoints are checked and uh, there's no breaches or security breaches in the area. So that's uh, one of the main use cases which are being used right now, not even in Africa, but all over the world. So moving further, I uh, would like to introduce as well our one of the latest solution. Uh, I hope that some of you already got our notification and newsletter about this uh, newly built asset tracker for non-powered assets track, right? So one of the biggest and uh, I would like to say uh, one of the most important things that it could send up to 1,000 reports. So that means if, for example, you would be sending uh, one record a day, so it could last even up to three years. So that's amazing. That's what we want to do. And we want to even increase this time and make sure that this unit, unit is kept as small as possible, as well as it has enhanced uh, tamper detection. So either you remove the tracker from the holder or they remove the tracker itself with the holder it all the time have the uh, detection uh, and uh, then the alert, uh, alert is being sent to the server side. As well, it can be mounted with the uh, wires uh, as well as with the screws and straps 
it's small and easy to install. So that's how it looks. So there are a variety of use cases. I will cover right now probably one of our biggest use cases is the construction equipment monitoring, which uh, all over the world, uh, according to the various research sites, uh, Bergen site and, and, and others, uh, usually it's being stolen over seven billion uh, dollars worldwide of stolen equipment just in construction site. So that's really important and all these companies wanted to protect their goods. So either it's excavators, either it's being stolen uh, uh, loaders, generators, containers, even the small parts of the construction equipment is being stolen, right? So saving your, uh, your time and saving the money, it's really important for construction sites to secure and manage their uh, equipment correctly. So with TAT100, you can do that. You can save that amount, save the, the time for the companies so they could avoid those losses. Moving further, one of the use cases what we see worldwide is the backup asset tracker. With the Bluetooth possibility and enhanced Bluetooth uh, module and chipset on our device asset tracker, we extended the battery life up to five years. So it means if you have the main tracker installed in the vehicle as our FMB125, for example, this unit connected together with our asset tracker could last up to five years. Imagine if, for example, this tracker is being stolen, right? The main tracking is stolen from the vehicle and our asset tracker do not see this main tracker. It starts working as a main tracker and starts sending directly to the, the, the ser data directly to the server side. So you can get the notifications that the vehicle is being stolen. So it, it not, not only applies for the vehicles in this case, it also applies for the Bluetooth sensors, which we have as well in our portfolio. For example, uh, there's a use case of containers, uh, how to say, dumpsters, trash bins all over, and those containers are being stolen, right, all the time, and you cannot track them. So, for example, you mount asset tracker somewhere on the house and connect, for example, 10 Bluetooth tags on each container, or vice versa. You can connect each of the asset tracker on the container and move the Bluetooth tags somewhere on the house. So they are paired and they see each other all the time. Everything is fine, everything is online. So being, data is being sent and no emergency alert, right? Imagine if the asset tracker is being moved away from the Bluetooth track, Bluetooth beacon. And if it doesn't see the Bluetooth beacon for a period of time, let's say five, 10, 15 minutes, you can define that easily. And it starts sending the alarm. Asset tracker wakes up and starts sending the alarm to the server side. In this case, the asset tracker saves the battery. It doesn't need to be charged or changed or whatever to manage your battery life of the tracker. So that's the few use cases, how it's being used. So basically, we created this for the uh, backup security because you can hide it anywhere, anywhere. It's really small and uh, we managed to make sure that it's as well as uh, robust and easy to install, hide IP67, so either you mount it on the construction equipment, either you mount it inside the vehicles, it doesn't matter. It works both sides. Yes, going further, we have e-forklift tracker plus. So with this uh, tracker, you can manage e-forklifts. It has the enhanced power supply from 10 to 97 volts as well it supports various uh, protocols. Now, recently we have uh, implemented manual CAN into this uh, unit, which means if you have the particular forklift CAN protocol and you don't want to implement it, right? So you have this uh, IDs, you know which IDs gives you particular data of the forklift. So we simply enter this data to the configurator, pre-program it with our unit, and you can simply get all the raw data to the server side, which makes the job easier for you. You don't need uh, some additional implementations of the CAN buses and so on. Just simply enter, enter the CAN ID to our configurator and the job is done. So as well, this forklift supports CAN, RS-232, 485, UART interfaces, depending on the chosen modification, as well as uh, depending on the forklift's uh, part you have. 
moving further. So with such solutions as I mentioned earlier, uh, as well, it has the IP67 uh, for water, water, water resistant. And with this unit, you can easily monitor working hours, predictive maintenance, battery health management. Uh, you have, can see the position of the forks. And even more, depending on what you want to get from your CAN IDs. Yes. Uh, one of the use cases here, as I mentioned, uh, managing the forklift, alerts and uh, maintenance alerts, uh, crash detection is also even possible with this unit, as well as uh, we are working on the system, which will be connected together with the uh, personal tracker, which has the panic button. So those units could find and, for example, protect each other from crash. So it makes, makes the work environment even safer. Uh, going further, uh, we are building a, a new one, uh, LTE connectivity device, suitable for all of these vehicle types, for bikes, e-forklifts, uh, e-scooters and kick e-scooters. It's ultra small and has the ECU data retrieve possibility. So this all will be, will be coming in the future and will cover all the micromobility units. You can easily hide it even in the bike handle. So we will make sure that LTE unit will be as small as possible. Yes, uh, and one of the, uh, probably one of the most important use cases worldwide at the moment, what we have is social distancing device which uh, becomes more and more serious since the people want to come back to work. Uh, I can tell you one of our success stories from uh, Italy, an instance, which this unit, uh, company was wearing all these units, uh, employees wearing the units, and one of the employees got the coronavirus in that case. And with our device help, we, ma we managed to make sure that company would not be closed and uh, for example, we detected seven people has the interactions with that person who got coronavirus. And then we had just only put those seven people in quarantine. So with our device help, that was managed to do. So it has the social distancing device for factories, for banks, for healthcare secure, for healthcare sector. All of these uh, options, use cases could be used in the high, high companies which has the huge amount of employees, which is difficult to manage, right? So it has not even the social distancing device. It has the same features as the spanning button. So you can use it both ways, either for the social distancing or for the backup security, for, for the uh, security guards monitoring or panic button. Yes, moving forward, we have uh, then questions and answers session. What I'd like to add, and if there are any, please uh, shoot right away. I hope I made it in my time. So looking forward, I see that we have still two minutes. So please, Maggie, are there any questions there? Um, hi, I think you pretty much um, covered everything. For the sake of time, we do have to um, come to an end. Uh, the one question I do have here, is the TAT100 available to order? I think I can answer that one. Um, I will let everyone know. Uh, when this unit does arrive in South Africa and when we can start um, sending it out um, to everyone because I know everyone's very excited about that. Um, and then the TFT100 manual can, um, how does that work? I think we can quickly squeeze that in before we have to, uh, have to jump off. Yes, as, as I mentioned earlier, you just simply have to have your CAN ID list and if you know the particular CAN ID and what data you want to receive from the forklift, you can easily enter this scan ID to our configurator and pre-configure the unit that it would know which ID to get from the forklift. So easily, simple as that. I could share the video later on how it's done and you would all know uh, what to do, how to configure that CAN ID for manual CAN. That would, yeah, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone joining um, for this Teltonica presentation. I thank you to our presenters. Uh, it was very informative. Um, and Joe, I will email everyone with all the necessary information. All the questions will be answered. And thank you once again, Taltonica. We really appreciate your time. Everyone who joined, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.